Hello everybody and welcome back to another That Adventure Life video. If it's your first time here, I'm Dustin. And I'm V. And we are coming to you once again from beautiful Joshua Tree National Park. We're actually doing Ryan Mountain Trail today. Uh, it's funny because we've been to Joshua, Joshua Tree, oh my gosh, so many times and this is the first time we're gonna do this trail, isn't that funny? Um, it is actually one of the pop more popular trail in the park too um, because you go all the way up and then it's give you a really beautiful view of the park especially in the sunset um, it is three miles three miles route trip so 1.5 miles each way uh, it is very steep though because you will be going up to over a thousand feet in elevation within that 1.5 miles trail so it's uh it's rocky and it's very steep farewell to our legs <laughs> so we're gonna stop and breathe a few times um but yeah do you have anything else to add otherwise we're gonna get on i think uh i think i'm ready to begin the suffering all right we'll see you along the trail all right let's do it today's hike begins at the very appropriately named ryan mountain trailhead there is a pretty decent amount of parking here, but like we said, this is one of the most popular trails in the park, so you might want to get there early to make sure that you get a spot. This trail takes most people one hour and 57 minutes to finish. And for once, we weren't too far off of that. It took us two hours and 21 minutes. Most of that additional time was spent enjoying the view from the top. At right around the two tenths of a mile mark, you will come to the one and only junction on this trail. You're going to want to make a right here because going left will take you to the Sheep Pass Group Campground. This climb is no joke and our legs were already starting to feel it. The good thing is that we had a nice little view to try to distract ourselves. We are still only about three tenths of a mile into the hike, but we're already starting to get views that stretch all the way out to the Hall of Horrors, which if you haven't seen that video, click in the upper corner to check that one out because that is a really fun area to explore. Weather is going to be a huge factor on this hike. We were doing this first thing in the morning, so we had shade for about the first third of it, but you're gonna be exposed to the elements almost the entire time. You will be getting a tiny break from climbing in the middle of the trail. It's not completely flat, but it definitely feels a lot less steep. But savor that while you can because you still have quite a bit of elevation to go. If there's one thing that will kind of crush your soul along this hike, it's all of the false tops. There are several occasions where the trail will crest up over the top of a hill and you'll think you're almost there just to get to the top and realize that you still have more to go. On the bright side, the view should be opening up on your left now and you should be able to see out towards Jumbo Rocks. As the trail curves off towards the right, you'll be happy to know that we are pretty much done with stairs at this point and it's going to get a little bit less steep as well. We could hear people celebrating off in the distance and we knew that we were just one more rocky straightaway away from the peak. And we have made it to the top. Uh, from up here, you'll get nearly 360 degree views. How many degrees would you say? 360. Maybe just, oh, maybe just like a portion of it is blocked by the mountain. I give it a good, uh, 257 <laughs> degrees of view. Um, I would not probably recommend doing this one in the summertime. It was about what, 65, 68 degrees on the way up and I was sweating pretty good. I, I can't imagine doing it like in 80 or higher. It's getting pretty warm, there's no shade here. So. No, pretty much no shade, but um, yeah, that's it. And now we're gonna head back down, but be sure to stay tuned because we do have a little bonus surprise at the end. Before we started on our way back down, we wanted to enjoy that view just a tiny bit more. We were visiting on a nearly crystal clear day and the view from here stretched out for miles. And the other thing that we had to do before we headed down was to climb all the way to the very top of Ryan Mountain, which is this pile of rocks.
Even though the way down is going to be way easier on a cardiovascular level, all of those steps are going to take a toll on your knees. If you have any knee problems, we would highly recommend bringing hiking poles with you. We saw a lot of people out there with them and after the fact we were thinking that it definitely would have been a good idea. One of the nice things about the hike back to the car is that not only is it way less strenuous, but you get to enjoy this view. Just be sure not to trip over any rocks while you're enjoying the scenery because that would be a bad way to end this hike. Since this is a fairly short trail, it's not going to take up your entire day. If you're looking for something to do afterwards, feel free to watch our video about 9 amazing stops for your Joshua Tree road trip. When we were up at the top of the mountain, I promised that there was a little bit of a bonus at the end, and it turns out that there is an Indian cave here, just outside the parking lot. Unfortunately, there aren't any petroglyphs or artifacts or anything like that, but there is this cave and the rock is charred on the underside, which means that they were probably having fires here. Checking this out won't take up a lot of time either, but the area around and behind the cave is really fun to explore. It's packed full of giant boulders, and it's just fun to wander around for a little bit. And with that, our video about our climb up Ryan Mountain is coming to a close. Be sure to stay tuned for next week when we hike out to the Wall Street Mill. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that really helps out the channel. And for more information about Ryan Mountain, as well as other awesome Joshua Tree adventures, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.